In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install and set up NextFlow on a Linux system. For those who don't know, NextFlow is a software that is used to manage workflows. So if you want to read more about it, you can visit this page. This is the home page. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. Before I proceed, let me say that it's possible to install NextFlow within two minutes. All right. So all that you have to do is to download the script here and then just execute it. So all the command that I'm going to use in this tutorial there. So that will make it simple for you. But I am making this tutorial because some people may want to um, get an understanding of the entire process. And so I'll go through all of them step by step. But if you want a quick installation without having to go through all these steps, I'm going to show them download the script and then use it. I've already made a tutorial on how to use the script. So check the description box and you find a link to that video. Now let's proceed. So when you are here, scroll down to this section, getting started, and you'll find the instructions for setting it up. So the first thing we have to do is to check the prerequisites. So here it says we need Java 11 or later. That is what we need. So that means that you need to have Java installed and it should be this version or later. I have tutorials that show how to install Java in Linux system. So check the description box and you'll find the links to those videos. All right. So let's open our terminal and then start. So I'll open my terminal now. So in my terminal, I have Java installed, but I would like to check and test. I'll say Java dash dash version just to check. So I have it here. All right. If you don't have Java installed, again, check the description box. The instructions for installing Java can be found there. All right. So now we have Java installed, so we can proceed. So what we have to do next is to CD our home to our home directory. I repeat. What we have to do next is to cd to our home directory. I just want us to uh, do kind of a structured and organized um, activity. So let's cd to our home directory. Yeah. Now let's take a look at the next step. And that is to download a file and then execute it using bash. So this is the entire command for setting it up. We also need to have curl. So you need to make sure that you have curl available on your system. So curl is used to download files, basically. So let's do this. Let's copy this command. It's just a copy and paste. So I'll just copy it and then move to my terminal. All right. So on the terminal, I will create a directory called nextflow. So I'll say make the nextflow and then I'll cd into it. All right. So the reason why I did is that an executable file will be generated. So I want it to be in a directory uh, which is separate from my other files. So that is why I have to do this. Okay. So let's continue. So let's do this. Let's let's paste the command. So I'll just paste the command here. So there's a command. So let's execute it. All right, so once everything is done, you have this message coming up. Okay, we also have these ones. So these are all stuff that will come up. All right, so it says next flow installation completed. Okay, so we have some notes here. It says the executable file has been created in this directory. That's where we are. The directory we created and then seed into it. And so you can complete the installation by moving it to a directory in your path. All right, so we'll do everything now, so don't worry. So let's just clear the screen and continue. So let's do an ls. We are going to find next flow. So this is the file. This is what we have been waiting for. So we have it now. Now let's take a look at something. Let's go back to the next flow page. It says launch. So this a simple demo. Okay, so it's just to test next flow. So you issue this command. Okay, so it says dot slash next flow run hello. Okay. So let's get to the terminal. So the dot slash is used to execute the next flow. All right, so we will use the same thing here. So dot slash and we say next flow and we have run and then hello. So let's execute this command.
All right, so once we execute it, we are going to find some tests coming up. So let's wait for everything to get done for us. All right, so everything has been done. So once you have this coming up, that means that everything is now okay. Installation is fine. So you can use it to uh, manage your workflows. All right, now with what we have done, you always have to specify the path to the next flow file. All right. So currently we are in this directory. All right. Now let's see it to our home directory. Let's clear the screen. Now let's see the back to the home directory. So I'll say CD space dot dot slash. You can also use just the CD. It's also fine. So I'll do it this way. So that's it. Now if I try to execute next flow, let's say dot slash next flow. We are going to have this coming up. All right, because we have left the next flow directory. Let's ls. We will see the next flow directory. All right, let's ls into it. We have the next flow executable. All right, but because we are no longer in there, we cannot use this approach. All right, so you have this coming up. All right, or sometimes you can also have this issue where they tell you command not found or something like that. All right, so. The point here is that because we have left the directory, we will not be able to use this approach to run next flow. So this is where the other activity comes in. So what we want to do now is to configure our system so that we can just say next flow and then run it. But if we also do this, you will have this coming up command not found. Okay, so that is what we are going to resolve now so that no matter where you are, you can just call next flow by its name like this, and then it will be executed. So that is the um, uh, that's that's the convenient approach to run next flow wherever you are on your system. All right. So let's proceed. So let's do this. We are already in the home directory. So what I normally do is that I have a directory that I place all my apps in it, all my tools, software. So I will do the same here. So I'll say make the apps. So I'll do an ls. I'm going to find the directory here, and then I'll move the next flow directory in there. So I'll say mv next flow. I'll move to apps. All right. Now let's do this. We have moved it there. We also need to get the absolute path for this file. By the moment we are no longer in there, so we have to get that path. So there are different approaches to do that. Let's just cd to the directory. And then we can get a part that one will be easy to um, do and it's easily understandable by it's easily understood by um, beginners so i'll use that approach all right so let's cd to the next flow directory. so i'll say cd apps slash next flow and then let's do an ls again to confirm that we have the file there all right now i'll do pwd so this will give me the path this part this is what i need for the next activity so whatever you also see make sure you copy it i'll copy mine i'll use it all right so i have it done so let's do this so now on the current system on the current session i mean the terminal let's just clear the screen and continue if you want to call next flow using just the name then what you have to do is say export path equals dollar path and you bring this colon and then you paste what you copied all right so let's execute this command all right now i can say next flow like this next flow all right and i can even add that command run and then hello let's just confirm yeah it's it's not this is hello but let's confirm here from the page yeah so it's next flow run hello all right so let's get back here so we have it here let's just go over again so i'll say next flow run hello like this all right so let's execute this command all right so now 
everything has been done so this means that the settings we made the export command we use here has worked and so it doesn't matter where you are in the system once you call next flow it will work you can execute it and that'll be fine so what we have done so far is to do this but then this chain here it's only taking effect on this terminal in this session so if you open another session then it will not work all right so we are going to do something else to make this change persistent so let's open another terminal all right so i have opened another terminal so let's try to call next flow so i'll say next flow and if I do that, I'm going to find this coming up, command not found, because that change, this export command here, only worked in this session, in this terminal here. So what we want to do is to make this change permanent or persistent. All right. And so to do that, we will need to add this command to our dot bash file. All right. We will come back to this. But let's make sure we are in the home directory. So let's cd to the home directory. Now let's do this. Let's say nano dot bash rc. All right. You can use any other text editor. You can use vi or any other text editor. That should be fine. So if you execute this command, let's do it. You will see something like this coming. That means that the dot bash rc file is there. All right. So we are good to go. Let's edit it. We are not making any change now. All right. So that's what we are going to do. Let's do this. Let's first make a backup of the .bash rc file. So I'll say cp .bash rc and I'll say .bash rc .back. It's just a backup. We are not going to use it. All right. Let's ls. We are not going to use it. It's just a backup so that we can always um, reverse the change if we don't like what has been done with respect to the main file. So it's just a backup. Now that's what we are going to do. We are going to edit the .bash rc file this one here we are going to edit it so we'll open it and then place this command in there so let's copy it make sure that you have copied the command that's work the one that's you used to run next flow so just copy it that would be much simpler and easy so copy it and then in the other terminal say nano dot bash rc again you can use any text editor vi or whatever that's fine so open it and then scroll down scroll down to the bottom yeah so i have my yeah okay i think i already have some export commands here but i'll add on to it all right so i have that here so i'll continue so i'll paste that command there this one here because that is what worked all right and then I'll save the changes. I'll edit and save the changes. So if I using nano, it's control X. So control X and then you type Y or yes. Hit the enter button and then you have saved it. All right. So that has been done. So still so we need to do something else. Even though we have edited the battery file, we need to reload it. So uh, the quickest approach is to open another terminal. There's another way to do it here, but I prefer we open another terminal. So let's open another terminal now. All right, so I have opened another terminal. So if I open another terminal, then this what I'm going to see. Nothing will come up. That means everything is fine. So now I can call next flow. So I can say next flow. And then execute it. So once I do that, I'm going to have this coming up. Or we can use the hello command. So I'll say next flow run hello all right so if everything is okay then you are going to get the same output as what we got previously when we run the next flow hello command so that's what we have so this is how we install and set up next flow on a linux environment so once you are done setting up then it's time to also watch this tutorials that show how to use next flow to develop workflows and then perform analysis so check the description box and you'll find the links to some videos that show you how to use nextflow you can also check the playlist that is being shown right now